Hey, what's up guys? Ace Player here and welcome back to another Stick War 3 guide. You guys seem to really enjoy the previous video where I explained how Thera works, so now I'm going to explain how the other new general, Spiros, works. Now, although Spiros is a new general, he's certainly not new. He's actually the former leader of the Spiritans, if you can believe it. Spiros. Spiros is too cool to have the red fur on top of his helmet. Instead, he literally has a slit on the top that allows him to place his mohawk through it. Talk about epic appearance. Spiros is a heavy general with the Order affiliation. He's the second Spiritan general to be added to the game after Atrios. Spiros comes with two unique active abilities, Ice Path and Deep Freeze. When Spiros spawns, he activates his bonus passive ability for all Spiritans on the field too. When he's defeated, the Abonus passive goes away. So what exactly is this passive? Well, when Spiro spawns, he gives all of your Spiritans on the field frosted tips. When any Spiritan pokes a foe, they're gonna be slowed down as if they had the Glacial Enchantment. Spiros doesn't have to necessarily be around for it to work, he just needs to exist. So you can hide him in the garrison if you so please, I suppose. Now we move on to his active abilities. First up, we have Ice Path. Spiros begins to leave a freezing path that trails behind him, and this will slow down units as if you were running into a snow squall or something like that. In the competitive experience, this ability should probably be constantly on cooldown. Use it whenever you can with enemies present for maximum Spiros value. Ice Path can also be a defensive getaway move for Spiros, as units who chase him down will just run into his ice path that he's leaving behind. Melee units especially that are chasing down Spiros will have a hard time catching up to him when they are slowed by 30%. Spiros' second active ability, Deep Freeze, is a little more nuanced than just slowing down units. Instead, enemies that are currently slowed down within Spiros' AoE, or Area of Effect as we learned last time, slows them down even further and causes Frostbite damage. This ability applies to all forms of slow, whether it be from a snow squall, a glacial fletching, Spiros himself, what have you. These units are going to be slowed to a crawl. It is important to note, however, if you deep freeze around enemy units that are not currently slowed down, they will not receive any effect from the ability, so you will have effectively just wasted it. So be careful when using this active. There are certain conditions that need to be met before it's a good idea. Now, with all this in mind, is Spiros overpowered? While it's still too early to tell, there are a few factors we can analyze to determine Spiros' strength. Although he was recently nerfed with some cooldown increase, there is no denying that Spiros is still a much better value than the current leader of the Spiritans, Atrios. While Spiros does not serve as a substitute to Atrios, because he doesn't reduce Spiritan cooldown by 25% or anything like that, he definitely feels like a more fleshed out character because of those unique abilities and strong passive that he gives all Spiritans. Unlike the other generals such as Thera, it's not really required to use or control Spiros to get a lot of value. This is due to that passive ability I was talking about earlier, as well as his powerful active abilities that have a long cooldown. So you can use him, get his abilities off, and go back to doing other things very quickly and very easily. You don't need to babysit your Spiros beyond making sure he doesn't run in and die. However, Spiros is still a very strong candidate for user control and you will find great success in utilizing such things as Control Whip with his kit for that bonus backshot damage and extra speed. Spiros gets a lot more value from this than most, as both his active abilities and passive incentivize aggressive play. Timing his deep freeze ability especially can be the difference between a narrow victory and an overwhelming defeat. Overall, Spiros is definitely one of the top generals at the moment, and he can be quite influential throughout the match. This is mainly because he's the most fleshed out character, giving him a leg up in the competition against his fellow generals. Spiros may very well find himself in the center of a glacial dominated meta if the cards align, and our games are going to get about 30% slower. Anyway, what do you guys think of Spiros? And how will you use him in your strategies? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to check out aceplayer.com for more Stick War fun. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bears.